for today's video I'm doing an updated skincare routine because I think it's been about two or three years since my last one so it's been a very very long time some of the products are the same but there are a lot of different ones as well and my skin recently has been really clearing up it's been getting really smooth my skin's been looking really good recently so what better time to share my skincare routine just so you know what type of skin I have my skin is oily and sensitive so I'm very careful with what products I use and I don't like to use anything too rich because it makes my skin even more oily. So if you want to see my updated skincare routine, then keep on watching. I'll start with the morning and then I'll explain evening afterwards. So in the morning, I'm using the Lizzo Cleanse and Polish. I've been using this since I was 16, I'm now 24, and I'm still obsessed with this. So I just put a little bit onto my hand, it's a cream cleanser, I rub it all over my face, and then I use a muslin cloth to take it off with hot water, and then just rinse my face with cold water. And that's all I do to wash my face in the morning. I love this, I'm still obsessed with this. It's my favorite cleanser I've ever used, and it's one that I've kind of used on and off for the past eight years. So that's a long time to use the same cleanser, so it just shows how much I love it. Next is another Lizzo product, and it is the Lizzo Instant Boost Skin Tonic Spritzer. So I like to just spritz this over my face, it's quite refreshing, it wakes me up in the morning, it's quite uplifting. So this tones your skin and then after this I wait maybe about a minute and then I apply my moisturiser. Moisturiser I've been loving in the morning is one by Cordially and it's the Vino Source Moisturising Sorbet. Now this is actually designed for sensitive skin. In the evening I use the Lizzo Cleanse and Polish again, this removes all my makeup. It removes makeup off so easily like it literally like melts the makeup off your face that you're doing it and your makeup's everywhere all over your face and use the cloth and it just comes off so easily. So after I've used this, I will use another Lizzo product. There are a lot of Lizzo products because as you can tell, I love Lizzo and I have for years now and I've tried loads of different skincare products but honestly, I personally think they are one of the best. So I then use the Lizzo Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion. I put this onto a cotton wool pad and then I just wipe over my eyes and my eyebrows just to make sure that I have all the makeup off my eyes and it's also quite refreshing as well. Then I go in between two products. So one of them I will use one day and I use the other the next day. So these products I use every other day. So one night I will use this by Nip and Fab. It's the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Night Pads Extreme. And this is what's made the biggest change to my skin. I've got these little forehead bumps. I still have them, they're not completely gone, but they are definitely going, which I'm so happy about because they're so annoying. I meant to use this two to three times a week, but I now use it every other night. It's got used to my skin and that's how often I use it. Even though my skin's sensitive, I haven't found a problem with these at all. So they look like that. They smell really strong of grapefruit, which I personally like because I like grapefruit, but the smell is quite strong. So basically this has 5% glycolic acid, salicylic acid, and lactic acid in. These are meant to target oily congested skin, which is why I picked them up, but I've also read reviews online that it helps get rid of these little annoying forehead bumps. I don't know what they are still, they're not spots, they're just annoying little bumps, but they're finally starting to go, and it's all because of this. I love it, you get 60 pads. Basically, it just unclogs congested skin, it refines your skin's texture, and it exfoliates and it's amazing. I have sensitive skin and I find a chemical exfoliation works much better than like the physical ones with the little bees. They can irritate my skin and cause me to break out and everything, but these are amazing. Like, they've changed my skin completely. So I use that every other night and the nights I don't use that on, I use the Lizzo Instant Boost Skin Tonic. This is just a toner. It's really soothing to the skin and also just make sure that any traces of makeup I definitely remove from your face. In the evening, I like to use something a little bit more moisturizing and nourishing on the skin. So I've been using the Lizzo Skin Repair Moisturizer. This is really great. It has avocado oil in, it has vitamin E and loads of other good skin loving ingredients, which is why I love Lizzo so much because everything is kind of, I've never had a bad reaction to Lizzo products and they always work well for me. So I love to use this on my skin. This is slightly a thicker moisturizer, so it doesn't sink in as well to the skin I find with my skin, but it's the evening and I'm not putting makeup on and I'm not going anywhere, so I don't mind. Whereas in the morning, I like to use a thinner moisturizer that is gonna sink into the skin, 
but this is really lovely. During the week, I like to use a face mask, so I love the Lush face mask. I've just used my last one the other day, so I don't have it to show you, but I do love them. When my skin is really oily, I love to use a clay face mask, so there are two that I have been loving recently. The first one is the Balance Me Radiance Face Mask. So this is a, I think it's pronounced Kaolin Clay Face Mask. So it exfoliates, cleanses, and brightens the skin. So if you can see what it looks like, it's white, and it's more like a cream than a clay, it feels like. It doesn't dry as tight onto the skin as other clay masks, and it also has little beads in, which I know I said they can annoy me and irritate my skin a little bit with exfoliators, but with face masks, especially this one, it doesn't. So I put it all over my face and leave it for five minutes, then I just rinse it off, and as I'm rinsing it off, it just slightly exfoliates, ever so slightly, it doesn't irritate, and it's great for brightening up my skin. And then other days, this is more for when my skin is even more oily, like I'm like, it's congested, it's oily, especially in the summer, it's like I really need something that's really gonna work. So I've been using the Lizzle Deep Cleansing Mask. So I leave this for five, yeah, five to 10 minutes. I just apply it all over and then rinse it off. And my skin is so much better. It controls oiliness great and I love it. And then for the times when my skin isn't really oily but I want something to brighten up my skin, I love the Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. I'm loving anything with glycolic acid like the Nip and Fab pads that I showed you earlier. These have glycolic acid and they made such a change to my skin and this has made such a change to my skin as well. So I apply it to my face and then rinse it off after 10 minutes but it doesn't really dry, it stays like a creamy texture and honestly this makes such a difference to my skin. My skin looks like more even if that makes sense. It just looks more even, it looks brighter. It's just an amazing face mask and anything with glycolic acid I am just all over and loving. And the last thing I want to show you is when I get a blemish. Now I don't really get blemishes as much often so I normally only get blemishes now at my time of month so when I do I like to use this and it's the Witch Blemish Stick. Now, I can remember using this in school. Like, in school I can remember using this because my skin broke out in school and it was awful. And I remember using this, and this is still amazing, I still love it. So when I see a spot coming, I don't use it in the day because like, you can't put makeup over it, it goes funny. So I use this in the evening, or if I'm like not wearing makeup, then I can use it then. And it really reduces the spot, and it reduces it more than anything else I know. I do actually have this as well. It's a mini tea tree oil from The Body Shop. This was just, I think this was just a little sample one, but it's amazing, this is also great. So actually, The Body Shop tea tree oil, I want to buy a big one of this, and The Witch Stick. I think they're both great for if you have the annoying little spot that you just want to go away a lot quicker. So that was my skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. You can subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I will quickly I introduce you to everyone. Okay, so this is Carl. And you already know my mum, my dad, Aaron, Lauren, Katie, and Shauna. <laughs>